up everybody in today's video I have another back to school bulk cooking video for you and this is cooking roaster chickens you know like whole chickens um, one is in the instant pot and one is in the oven and then we're also going to make bone broth out of both of those chickens when we're completely done so it's really like three recipes in one so let's go check it out so I'm gonna start with my oven chicken here I've got a chicken just in a Pyrex baking dish and then I'm going to add some garlic olive oil to that as well as a couple of drops of rosemary vitality essential oil from Young Living as well as one drop of thyme vitality essential oil and I'm just going to swirl those oils together with the garlic olive oil and I'm going to pour that on top of my chicken now if you don't have these essential oils you can purchase them or you can add just use dried herbs that works just fine so then I'm going to take some aluminum foil and cover the entire length and width of this pan because it makes the cleanup so much easier when the chicken doesn't splatter all over your oven so then I bake it at 425 degrees for about 90 minutes or so so now hopping over to the Instant Pot, I've got my chicken in my Instant Pot, and I'm going to take about, I don't know, a quarter cup of olive oil, and then I'm going to add one drop of the Jade Lemon Vitality Essential Oil from Young Living, and then I'm going to add one drop of the Basil Vitality Essential Oil. Now if you don't have these oils, you could use basil and lemons. That's totally fine. Um, you could just leave your chicken plain, maybe sprinkle some salt on it. There's no right or wrong. So then I'm just going to pour my oil over the top of the bird, and then I'm going to to add about a cup of water since this is a pressure cooker that's how it really steams and cooks in there so then I'm going to put my lid on make sure it's tight and my vent is at ceiling and then I'm going to cook it on manual high for 35 minutes so once that's done I'm going to check the temperature make sure it's all cooked it sure is so I'm gonna take the meat off the bones and then I'm gonna do the same thing for my oven chicken and there we go so I'll just store that in the freezer in Ziploc bags for future recipes so the bones of the chicken are back in my instant pot here I've covered it with water and I'm going to add three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and that helps to leach the minerals from the bones so you get a good gelatinous bone broth here so I'm just going to mix that all around together and then I'm going to put my lid on the pot and make sure my vent is at ceiling again and I'm going to set it at 145 minutes which is a little over two hours um, at manual high so then once that's done I'm going to strain the broth from the bones and this is the easiest way I can figure out how to do it is just over a big Pyrex bowl with a little strainer here and then you can either refreeze the bones and use them later or you can just toss them um, if you don't want to make more bone broth so then once you have strained your bone broth into the bowl you'll want to chill it in the refrigerator overnight and then scrape off the fat that accumulates in the morning and then pour that broth hopefully it's gelatinous and jelly like jello jiggler into ice cube trays and freeze and then store those in a zip top bag for future use as a broth or as a cooking liquid if you're interested in essential oils for back to school, I will have a class link in the description bar below. That class will be live on Friday, this upcoming Friday, the first Friday of August. It'll be 10 a.m. Eastern time, live on Facebook in a Facebook video. So the link to the class will be in the description bar below. Be sure to check it out so you don't miss it. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao.